Well, well, well. What do we have here? Let's check this out, fellas. Here's the opposing team I'm going to be playing against today. Black Ops 2. And look at this. Four out of the six guys are sniping. Did you ever think that you guys would see this shit in a Treyarch game? <laughs> Where the majority of the team is usually sniping. And what else we got? What are these two guys running? That guy's got a Scar H. And the guy on the outside's got an MP7. So there you go. We got four snipers. One AR user, one SMG user, here in a Treyarch game. I can't say I blame him. Can't say I blame him, man. The sniper's a beast in this game, so might as well use him, right, fellas? Hey, at least they're not using Target Finder LMGs or Remy's. It could be worse. All right, let's get into the gameplay, guys. I'm using the Scar H. You guys know that I've discovered after... It took two years, but I finally discovered my favorite gun in this game. I forgot that the Scar got buffed by Treyarch. And it's actually a damn good weapon, man. I'm not going to say it's too good, because I don't want Vondahar to hear me say that. And then he'll go back and nerf this bitch. Because, you know, Vondahar, just whatever I like, Vondahar seems to fuck with. And, Von, just leave the Scar H alone, dude. You've done enough. Just keep working on the next Call of Duty, man. Forget about this game. Oh, eat that C4 sandwich, son. That dude was lying down. Looked like he was hungry. Gave him a little snack. Uh oh a sniper hit marker. Oh, I knew it was too good to be true. I knew it was too good to be true. I was like, a sniper hit marker? What? Nah, he got me. He got me. <laughs> Fucking snipers everywhere in this game. So what's up, fellas? Today is March 4th, and it's Map Pack Day. Oh, no, not Map Pack Day. Microtransaction Day. We got all kinds of microtransactions going on. We got microtransactions on Ghosts and on Black Ops 2. And I will say, the microtransactions on Black Ops 2, the gun camos, man, they look good. I'm not saying I'm going to go out and get them. I might. I might not. I don't know. But they look pretty good. I've seen the, uh, the zombie camo, the weaponized 115 camo. That shit looks sick. Oh, my God. The camos look all right. And you guys know I bought the first map pack, uh, the first microtransaction camo that came out. Eat that C4 sandwich, son. What the hell are you doing? That dude had an IED on the ground. But, uh, <laughs> like I said, I bought the first microtransaction pack, the bacon. You guys remember the bacon and, uh, the iFly camo and, uh, the Party Rock camo. What else? What else did they have? The Benjamin camo. I got the first, uh, gun skin map microtransaction pack. I never went out and got any more after that. Just because, I don't know, man. I kind of... I just wasn't feeling it, but this map pack that came out looks pretty, I mean, <laughs> weapon skin pack that came out. I keep calling it map pack. Sorry, guys. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but they keep, ooh, get on, baby. Uh, weapon skin looks pretty cool. And look, man, I don't mind paying for weapon skin, weapon camo, because camo, you know, people like camos. I mean, people lean off the side of boxes all day long for camos, man. People do some sick shit for camos. People play without perks and attachments for camos. People go all out for their camos. So I can understand... You know, bringing us camo. But what's with these character skins, man? I mean, last I checked, this is a first-person shooter. We can see the gun. I don't mind paying for camo because I can see the gun. I can't see the character when I'm playing. So why am I paying $3.99 to look like Makarov? Or why would I pay $1.99 to look like Zakaev? Or $1.99 to look like Rourke? Or $3.99 to look like Captain Price? I'm not going to see it. That My enemies are going to see it. They don't give a shit. I think they'll be like, oh man, it's it's Makarov. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it's Zakayev. Oh shit, it's Rourke. Ah, you think we're going to scare people, dude? Hey, look, man, Vondahar was a free character skin in this game. And he's far more diabolical than those cats. And he was free. So why are you charging me $3.99 and $2 for Zakayev and Rourke? Come on, man. I never understood that, dude. Look, I know there was a big emphasis on customizing your character in Ghost, but I never customized my character not even once, dude. I've never messed with that character customization shit. I mean, I hardly even put camo on my gun. And speaking of camo, man, did you guys actually go out and get that Space Cat and Rubber Ducky camo, man? Hey, if you did, I'm not hating. It's your money. Spend it however you want. I see people spend money foolishly. I mean, look, we spend money foolishly. A lot of us do all day, every day. We spend our money foolishly, whether you're buying cigarettes or, you know, whatever. There's lots of foolish ways to, uh... <laughs> Fool this money. There's plenty of ways to get separated, man. Uh, if you want to buy gun camo, that's fine. If you want to buy personalization packs, that's fine. But all I'm saying is, man, nobody can see the character skin but the person you're playing against. That guy got lag switch? What the hell? Uh, no, guys, this isn't a fake video. But yeah, he looked like he was lag switch. That guy had some lag issues going on there. Whatever. Um, so, did you guys get any of the character skins that came out today? Did you guys get any of the gun skins, the gun camo? Let me know which ones you did. And let me know which personalization pack you bought or why. Why do you want to look like Bakarov anyway, man? Why do you want to look like Zakayev or Rourke or Price? Price got that crazy-ass handlebar mustache. <laughs> anyway, uh, what else happened? Oh, yeah, guys. Finally, what I said would happen. 
did happen. The free fall map pack actually is available to play for everybody on COD Ghost now. They integrated it just like they did with Nuketown 2025. And just like Nuketown 2025, I'm hearing that this map is horrible. Oh, what the fuck? What happened? Oh, yeah, watch this, fellas. Watch it. Ready? Shoot first. Bloop. <laughs> there you go, Vondahar. Hey, Vondahar, whoever you had play test the sniper rifles, lose that dude's number, Vaughn. Do not invite him back for Bops 3, Vaughn. I'm telling you, dude. Do, lose that guy's number. That guy played you, Vaughn. That guy made a fool out of you. That guy made a fool out of you, dude. Do not invite him back to play test the snipers in Black Ops 3. Don't do it. Lose that dude's number. Um, so the free fall map is available to play for everybody. I never even played on it. After I played Nuketown 2025, or, or, you know, where everyone's laying prone with target finder LMGs and snipers everywhere. Yeah, worst map ever. I'm hearing that free fall is even worse than that. I haven't played Ghost in like a month. I don't know if I'll ever play that free fall map. Titan Falls right around the corner. I'll probably uh, be playing a lot of Titan Fall, not Ghost. And another thing, guys, the patch that came out for Ghost today gave the Juggernaut Maniac an assault rifle, which counts towards your kill streaks. <laughs> you want to talk about incompetence, man? Yo, <laughs> yo, Ghost people, what is going on over there? You, come on, man. Isn't Tina Palacios running the ship over there? Tina, what's going on, girl? You, you guys patched an assault rifle on the Jug Maniac? Damn, son. I'm going to go on a. Uh, I might go on Ghosts after all and play that shit. But anyway, guys, that's the vid. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the gameplay commentary, please don't forget to smack that like button. I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, C4 sandwich to go, baby. You have pleased our generals.